Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we got something special for you. I uh, got my buddy Eric here and his family. <laughs> and they have this awesome Airstream. And we're going to take a look at it and show you guys what it's all about. It's a 2022 Airstream Flying Cloud 27 FB Twin with the hatch option. It's got the hatch on the back that kind of brings the outdoors in. And it's got the screen um, that you pull down, obviously, once you open the hatch. Um, the nice thing is when we backed up to the river up in the mountains a couple weeks ago, opened this up, and you, know, you hear the river going and everything. So normally there's a cushion there. We took that out and put the dog crate in there. Uh, that's a nice thing. You can kind of reconfigure the cushions how you want it. Uh, there's an optional desk you can get here. Um, this folds down into a bed. And then it's got tons of storage, which it's a little messy, but you got your DVD player up there. Nice. That's cool. You've got an awesome sound system. It's got JL Audio with a subwoofer. Uh, the one thing that I didn't think Airstreams had when we first started looking was storage, and every inch of this camper is storage. Even if it's something small that's not even that deep, they give you storage. Uh, it's got, this one has the oven, microwave is there. Yeah, that's you cool. could option with convection microwave, and that replaces this, and you just get more storage here. But there's storage everywhere. Um, tons of storage up there. In 21, they changed the interior to this much lighter and shiny cabinets and different interiors, different floor. They made the sink square instead of a circle. Gives you a little more room. I think one of our favorite things is how many windows. What's in this? This is the trash can, which it's like, it's nice because you just reach in the door and there's your... And then you got all your controls here? Yeah, so all the lights are on dimmers. And then your battery cutoff is there, and then this is for your porch light outside. This one has two 90 watt solar panels on top. And so there's your solar controller. And then it, all of them come with a thousand watt inverter. Got a Max Air fan or whatever that is. And yeah, it's fantastic Dometic. fan, same kind of thing. Fantastic fan. That's cool. It's got two Are these AC all AC vents? Yes. They're from nice. the through the floor. Is that a return? Yeah, so your returns are right here. And the AC vents down both sides. It will freeze you out of here with two air conditioning units. Oh yeah, it has two, are they two like 13.5 units? I believe so, but there's two of them. And Either way, it's small, small, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and here you've just got basically closet space. We opted to put a little hanging basket in there. That's deep. But again, it's got tons of space. Yeah, cool. I like that. And then everything is accessible. So this looks like a false cabinet, but it's access to get to your water pump or whatever else you need to get to. That's nice. So there's no having to cut holes and things. So yeah, like tons of storage in the kitchen. Yeah, and it also really comes cool. with your own. It comes with a little silverware holder. Huh. Yeah, tons of room. Then it's split bath. That's pretty sweet. And then your, your toilet's over here. The bathroom. And then it's got the on demand hot water heater. I like the little fan there. Yeah. Little exhaust fan, that's pretty cool. 
and then you get, of course, oh, wow. you get tons of storage. Man, that's cool. And then oh, nice. there's the storage down here. floor yeah and it's got kind of a cushion to it yeah it does it's really cool 21 is the first year of the composite floor before they always use plywood so what is the it's like a it's the, an aluminum shell I don't really know what the composition of the floor is but there's no wood in anything except in the cabinets so all the cabinets are actual hardwood that are veneered there's no chipboard in here TV back here. TV, and since this has the twin beds, mm -hmm. um, you get extra storage on the outsides. We were just buying this temporarily to use while our other Airstream was coming in, so we didn't mind twin beds for short term. Um, you get lockers on each side for clothes, and then of course under the bed there's also more storage. Like we keep kind of tubes for when we're up in the mountains we'll keep all those in there nice and then the other side of this is that outdoor storage more storage up there man yeah that's a lot of storage that's really nice so we took everything out of our last 30 foot and put it in here and had extra room where we didn't have anything and a two foot shorter camper and the the windows are they two like there's two pieces so of foam on the How's front, work? most all the windows tilt out this mm -hmm. one tilts out it has like a shade on it um kind of a lexan rock guard um so that folds up first and then you can also open all of your windows they tilt out like that awesome yeah we'll take a look at that when we get out there so it's nice and it's cooler to get the breeze pulling through that's so cool how, I mean, they overlap, but it looks so smooth. Yep, and it's still got a little bit of the plastic sheet. Oh yeah, from near. Um, but it's just, it's all riveted, but it's so close. It's so, almost looks smooth. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Okay. And you've got another one right in front of you. So a divide, oh, so okay, so you have a divider for the room. You can split this off and then do the same thing right here. So if someone's taking a shower or whatever, you can completely close them off. Gotcha. Okay. That's cool. Have a little um, privacy. This is a change they did in 21 also. It used to be one of those old, um, you know, kind of the folding door tracks or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the accordion door kind yep. of deal. And they always break. So we camped all weekend here with... Eric and his family and uh, this is the first time I walked in and it's just cool I mean obviously it's gonna feel retro and it really does but one thing I really like is around the doorway from our old travel trailer days this thing is so solid and it just feels retro and nice and well built so the steps are different from like a your standard yes. deal so the stairs hold them like that Whoa. And nice. then it meets the contour of the camper. Oh wow, yeah, that's cool. And then the nice thing about, this is the quote base model, so everything's kind of manual. The awning's manual, the stabilizers are manual, but it's, if it doesn't have a motor, it's less likely to break. That's right. How do you get the, uh, how do you get the awning out? I've always seen uh, on YouTube, everybody's jumping up, you know, so keep your daydream, they're always can, jumping up and down. I can step up right here and undo those. Yeah. And then that one over there. I hold price up with my hand <laughs> and she unscrews that one. You can use the awning tool they give you, but that okay. takes forever. Gotcha. Um, so this all same with the twins, you get this extra storage. If you would have gotten the queen, mm -hmm. you would not have got these. And uh, you okay. don't have much outdoor storage. So we just keep like propane hoses, chairs, um, and it goes all the way up to here. Nice. And that's under the bed on the right side. Mm -hmm. What's uh? What are these? Jacks? Those are your stabilizer jacks. So okay. I just run them down with a drill. I like how they're like hidden. You can't see. At first, I thought it was like a propane connection. You know, yeah, you know how they have those. Yeah. Okay. So up here, you get. Rather, you get the thing of the twins. You get this regardless. So we keep hoses, my daughter's chair, and camp mat and stuff in here.
Um, and then down here in this box is your batteries. You get, if you get the solar, you get two AGM 100 amp hour. Yeah, so this is just your normal window. Um, and then this, it folds down and it's kind of, they call them solar guards. They're like saying to protect the front of the camper. Same thing as these. And these fold out, you know, so you can clean or whatever. And then these rock guards also fold out so you can clean behind them. And then you've got two 30 pound propane tanks. And then here's your other side, and we mainly keep, you know, sewer flush and odds and ends and stuff in there. So yeah, payload of 1178, and then gross is 7600. And then this has a window awning package, so you get the awning that goes the whole width, and then there's also one on the back when the hatch is folded. So does it, how far does it come out? Just a, like, two, three feet, something like that? right here. It's like a window shade, basically. Okay. And you get all your connections. Outdoor shower, and then that's your fresh water fill. Fresh water fill. Um, and then obviously fresh water, black tank flush, your cable and satellite, which we'll never use. And then it's 50 amp service. Okay. And then the one nice thing is the air conditioner is on these drain into the wheel well. Oh, so it doesn't drain off the it top. It doesn't drain off the top. <laughs> because every other camper we've had, of course, it drains right where you're trying to yeah. get to like over your front storage or right where you're trying to cook or always yeah always well that's awesome that's uh yes yeah, so we've had it since march we've been on it 10 times i think and it's been great so this is just your uh that's the hot furnace. furnace okay looks like you got another awning over this part too yeah so this when you close you can put that up and then you don't hit your head with that because it hurts really bad ask me how in there <laughs> um but right here yeah. comes out, and then those just fold over and then you just fold this up like that and then so the one on the side comes out about that far too very nice that is awesome. Looks like you got a camera on the back. Yeah, so they all come with cameras, um, and then of course the unit that goes in the truck. Is it a Furion or it's what? A Voyager. Voyager. Okay, cool. Yeah, so when you get the hatch, you get this, and I mean, it's a little dirty. We've been doing state park camping. Oh, it looks good. Um, the other thing is in the bumper. That latch is awesome. I mean, just stuff like that. And details like that are just cool. Yeah, cast aluminum, cast aluminum. Um, and then in the storage, so we'll keep all of our chalks and Anderson levelers and everything in here. Um, it's not, doesn't keep it dry, but none of this stuff needs to stay dry anyway. That's all we got. We've loved it. Um, we're going to take delivery of a 30-foot model with the bunks next weekend. And this one's going to my parents. So, so what's the model number on that one? 30... FB bunk so it'll be about two feet longer than this one and more laid out for a family versus right now our daughter's sleeping on the back couch and it's fine temporarily but long term she needs her own spot with all of the stuff that she brings you're gonna let us to do a uh, review on the new one right I have to talk to my agent <laughs> well that was impressive uh, definitely the nicest travel trailer I've ever been in I hope you guys really enjoyed it and stay tuned because as long as I can talk uh, Eric's agent into letting us do a review on his next one, uh, we're going to do that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you'll know when we post a new video. Thanks for watching guys and be sure to check us out next time. Like and subscribe. <laughs>